If you're looking for an easy, engaging way to keep yourself and your students organized, then this video is for you. Hey there, if you're new here, my name is Faith Rafadine and I'm a former teacher and current instructional coach. This year, whether you are teaching hybrid, online, or in person, keeping your students organized and engaged is key. In this video, I will walk you through how you can plan, organize, and engage your content using digital game boards that are super easy to make and use with Google Slides. Now, if you'd like to save yourself some time, feel free to use the game board template that I pre-created for you, which is linked in the description box below this video. Here's an example of a digital game board that you could use as a student activity tracker uh, for either a specific topic or a unit. For this particular example, I chose to divide the tasks to go hand in hand with the lesson model. So I've broken down the tasks into engage, explore, explain, and so on and so forth. After adding and hyperlinking all of the tasks to your game board, you will post it on your learning management system for your students to be able to access it. Students will access this game board at the beginning of a topic or a unit and work through the different tasks either in a self-guided way or uh, with the pace that is chosen by the teacher. As students complete tasks, you can instruct them to make a copy of the completed sticker and add it on top of the um, task that is finished. And this way, you'll get an idea about how much of the game board or how many of the tasks the students have actually completed. Both online and hybrid students can especially benefit from an activity tracker like this one because they are not in the same room as you all the time and they don't get the benefit of that um, direct teacher instruction that, we, that students get when they are in the same room as the teacher. So here's another way that you can reuse game boards in order to review or practice content. You can have students work individually or in groups on this activity. First, set up the game board with practice or review questions. So all of these would be filled with these types of questions. And then the students will choose a particular character that they want to play with. So I made the characters um, Among Us characters because kids are obsessed with that game right now. Um, so you can replace these with any other uh, characters that you would like. Um, and then once they have chosen their character, you're gonna instruct them to roll the dice. So if they click on the dice image, it'll kind of take them to this link that rolls a number for them. So then the student will uh, just move their uh, character to correspond with the number that they just rolled. So one, two, three, four, five. And whatever practice question um, was, uh, was in the fifth spot right here, um, the student would actually work on or practice or do. You can like hyperlink this to other activities or other types of practice questions um, or other examples. So that way they are, you know, they're, they, they are doing something perhaps more interactive. Um, you could link this to something like whiteboard.chat, which has math manipulatives if you're teaching math. And then that way the student can use the math manipulatives online in order just to work through the specific math problem. Um, if the, that's the type of question you're giving them. Also use this type of activity um, with the whole cr class during those review sessions. So um, similar, similar to Kahoot, which students love reviewing um, with that website because again, it's game-based. You can kind of do something like this and that way you have a game-based way of reviewing before a test or before an assessment. So here are uh, other examples of how some teachers have used game boards. You'll notice that this particular teacher has set up their game board in order to contain different apps that they want the students to practice. So um, it's set up like Monopoly and essentially they will go through the different apps and technologies that are included here uh, in order to learn to learn more about them. This teacher uh, set up her game board in order to review uh, some science um, skills that are usually done at the beginning of the year um, and you'll notice that uh, she has all of the different tasks um, linked to different points of this uh, tracker. Finally, this teacher has uh, also set up her game board to serve as an activity tracker, but you'll notice that she has included a differentiation option um, by color coding the tasks into three different categories. Some tasks that the student must do, 
uh, tasks that the students should do, and then finally, um, tasks that are more challenging and um, that the students can aspire to do. And notice that she also has a little key for herself as she goes through the different, um, uh, or as a student, sorry, goes through the different tasks, they can kind of um, use this to self-assess if they mastered the content, or you could go with, like, you could go through this with the students, and you, as a teacher, will then decide if they have mastered it or not, and you can drag these stickers to um, place them on top of the tasks that the student has mastered, or that the student still needs to do more practice in. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and share it with any other educators that might be interested in using Gameboard in their own classrooms. One more thing before I leave you today, I'd like to hear from you. In the comments, share some ideas of how you are planning to use Gameboards in your own classrooms. Have a great day.